how the hell can they be my Jews? But then it's describing right here the Jews being black. Something is wrong. Something is very wrong. Right? You have to ask yourself. If the Jews of the Bible are black, and we're claiming that we are the Jews, then who are those people over there? We'll, just, we'll tell you according to the Bible. The Bible tells you who they are. Because Christ is a black man. As a matter of fact, he's not the only black man. There's multiple people in the Bible described as black. Matter of fact, you're in a Job, right? Give me Job 30-30. You're in a Job, the book of Job, right? Everybody has to have heard of Job, right? Read that, Job 30 and 30. Job 30 and 30. Listen to this right here. Tell me, how do you get a white person out of this? Because they make all the images of the Bible, all the people in the Bible out to be what? White. That's not biblical. Read. My skin is black upon me. My what? My skin is black upon me. My skin is black upon me. That's Job right there. How do you get a white person out of that? We're not even finished. Lamentation, chapter 4, verse 8. We're not finished. All throughout the Bible are black people. All throughout the Bible, when describing these people right here, the 12 tribes of Israel, they were black. And this is what we try to wake our people up to. Our people have been lied to. We've been led to believe that we are not the chosen people, that we're simply Gentiles. We're trying to prove to our people that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. Read that. Lamentation, just inform their faith. Their visage is blacker than a cold. Read that again. Their visage is blacker than a cold. Visage. It says their visage is blacker than a cold. The visage is a French word for their face. Right? So it's talking about the Israelites here. It's saying that their visage was blacker than a cold. Their face was blacker than a cold. You can't get white people out of that. You can't. They were not white. Limitations 5 and 10. I'm just trying to show y'all multiple examples so that if anybody tries to come to you and lie to your face and say that the people of the Bible, the chosen people of God, are white people, you know right off the bat, you're going to look at them like, you're a liar. You understand what I'm saying? Read that. Lamentations of the Bible verse 10. Our skin was black like an oven. Our what? Our skin was black like an oven. Our skin was black like an oven. Our skin was black like an oven. Those people over in Israel, the so-called Israel, so-called Jewish men, right? They call themselves the Jews, right? Do you see any of them that are black? Those are white people, right? From Eastern Europe. How the hell can they be the Jews, but then it's describing right here, the Jews being black? Something is wrong. Something is very wrong. I know that works in tribulation and poverty, but thou are rich. God is saying that we are rich. We may not seem like we're rich right now because we have the bottom. Drugs is all around us. We got the biggest amount of single mother households, right? Highest amount of crime in our neighborhoods. But God is saying that we're rich. Why does God say that we're rich? I'll show you why. Hold that. Hold that. Romans chapter 9 verse 4. Let's find out that even though we're at the bottom in today's modern world, we are the richest people on the earth. Right. Let's see why the Bible says that. You Romans that? chapter 9 verse 4. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? We are the Israelites. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Americans. We are the Israelites. We to who pretended the adoption. To whom belongs the adoption. When it's going into that adoption, that's talking about us being adopted back to God under the new covenant as sons, as the children of God. That's the adoption. It says that that belongs to the Israelites and none else. Read. And the glory. And the glory. The glory is going into the kingdom. The kingdom belongs to the Israelites. Other nations will be in the, in the world to come, but it says that we are going to have the kingdom in the world to come, meaning we're going to be the rulers of the world to come. In all other nations, they're going to learn from us. They're going to learn God's laws, statutes, and commandments, and they're going to keep them. And we're going to make sure that they keep them. You understand? Read. And the covenants. And the covenants. Notice how it says covenants. It didn't say covenant. It said covenants. People like to believe that the old covenant, oh, that was for the Israelites. 
for the new covenant is for everybody. But it just said right here that the covenants, both the old and the new covenant, belong to who? The Israelites. The Israelites. Many people will teach you in these churches that everybody can be a part of the new covenant under Christ. But the Bible just says that. Nowhere in the Bible can you find that the other nations are included under the new covenant. At all. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.